You may have noticed we do a lot of bowing around here. We have an attitude of respect for the Buddha and for his teachings and for the people who have carried his teachings on to the present moment. Because these are valuable teachings, they teach us to value things that are important within ourselves. We all want happiness, but the desire for happiness to be something that's worthy of respect means that you have to desire happiness that doesn't harm anybody. There's so many of the ways that people find happiness in the world do involve harm, and then they deny the harm. Either they claim they didn't harm anybody, or the people who did get harmed don't matter. Or sometimes they say, well, you did criticize me. People can get very defensive about the ways they look for happiness. This is one of the reasons why right livelihood is an important part of the path. You want to make sure that your livelihood is harmless. You're not stirring up greed, aversion, and delusion in other people. You're not breaking the precepts. That way you can be more honest with yourself. You look at the ways you would look for happiness and you can see there are some ways that actually do cause harm. The Buddha is saying, though, that there's a greater happiness to be found by not harming anyone at all. So we respect him for that. And we want to respect the desire we have in our own minds for that happiness. And that's the kind of desire that Buddha encouraged. He says you want to delight in a path that leads to a place of no conflict, a place of no harm. So what is involved in following that path, you want to have some respect for it. There was a patriarch in Chan, I think it was the third patriarch, who said the great way is not difficult for those with no preferences. Now he doesn't mean that you don't prefer anything at all. You do prefer the end of suffering. You do prefer the end of harm. But then you look at the path that leads to that happiness that has no suffering, has no harm. And in some cases it's demanding. But you decide, okay, I'll do whatever has to be done. because. You see that that original desire really is worthy of respect. So protect it. The world out there will try to destroy it. They want you to buy their things, participate in their economy, so they can make money off of you. They don't care about you. You get old, they throw you away. But the Dharma does care about you. The economy of the Noble Ones has a place for everybody's happiness. Because the happiness that we find inside doesn't take anything away from anyone else, it doesn't harm anybody, and it's open to all. So when we spread thoughts of goodwill to all beings, may all beings be happy. When we think about true happiness, then we realize there's no conflict. If your idea of happiness is, may you be wealthy, may you have status, there's going to be a conflict there, because not everybody can be wealthy, not everybody can have status with things outside. But if you think about true happiness, may everybody find true happiness within. There's no conflict. So look for happiness in a way that causes no conflict. And your desire for happiness of that sort is worthy of respect. <laughs>